Bridging in 3D printing is really cool. It's almost like how a spider builds a spider web. The tensile strength of the filament basically allows the 3D printer to print in mid-air. In this video, I'll be showing you how far the Creality Ender 3 or the Creality CR10 can bridge. Let's go. For this test, I designed four horizontal beams in Fusion 360. Let's take a look at the results. Here we have the 100mm beam. This came out really nice, there's only a little bit of sagging underneath the beam, but overall it's very strong and it looks very nice. The 150mm beam also came out very nice, just a little bit more sagging underneath the beam, but once again, the printer could easily bridge 150 millimeters. Next, let's look at the 200 millimeter beam. This one just started having a little bit of issues. You can see underneath, it didn't quite adhere perfectly, but still, the printer did not have that much of an issue doing the overhang. Now, the last one failed because one of the columns detached from the build plate, so let's run this one again. All right, the 250 millimeter beam has completed and let's take a look at it. You can see there's quite a bit of sagging underneath the beam and it looks like the layers did not adhere very well at all. So I'm not sure I can really say that this is a success. I mean, the letters above did print out clearly and you could read them just fine. I would say 250 millimeters is a semi success and I don't recommend 250 millimeter bridging. Um, I would say pretty much the max for the Creality Ender 3 or the Creality CR10 is most likely 200 millimeters. Um, it's probably possible to do a little bit better, but with my current setup, 200 millimeters was about the max for me. So let's compare all of them. Feel free to let me know in the comments how far you've been able to get your 3D printer to bridge. Thanks for watching.